So here we are at the uh, LA Occupy shanty town. Totally covering the, uh, the entire lawn on the west side of the city hall. Lots of tents. Don't know if they have to get permits for all this stuff, but we'll find out. Got a little afternoon uh, downward dog action at the uh, Occupy LA event. Gotta be healthy when you're not eating or sleeping and living in a shanty town. No unionists are checking in. Nobody here. Just their check-in table is empty. Maybe they're doing yoga. We did. Slow down. Dude. You're getting it to the round. We're gonna definitely not let you do it now, dude. Because you're being an asshole now, dude. Yeah, we already, already did that. We've already done that. We've told everybody last night that we were gonna it do it. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. You're and being denied now by the people. Okay. okay, you guys don't live in this side, right? Okay. Yes. Anyone? She does. I mean, she, you do. But we told right. you last night that we were gonna do it. Doesn't matter. You moved your chair without even saying it. Long beach last night. Long last night. Against the cops. We're not being anti-handicap, we're actually creating this space. No, no, you're walkways. trying to make it, right? They're saying no. They don't want pathways for handicapped people. So you just say they're anti-handicap, but you don't move their That's shit. Rude. Uh, dude, just from day one, I've been waiting for when people are going to start doing stuff like this, and it's like, it's happening now. You guys got to wake up and realize that. Oh, no, I'm not saying, oh, no, we are moving tents. Agreed. I agree with you there. You know what I'm saying? We're just moving them the a couple concept, feet to the left the concept or a couple that, feet to the right, and then we're not trying to destroy anybody's on, property. What I'm saying is the concept that you guys get to tell people what to do and stuff like that is just We're not, not telling anybody what to do. No, but kind of art. The process you can do. The process of anybody can do whatever they want. It won't work either. There's got to be a topic. Yeah, something like that. Did you come to the housing committee? No. no. Check this out. I don't have to come to the housing committee. You say, you're not only one house. Huh? Check it out. We are moving our tents. We're gonna move them. We're gonna create space in this and that. But now they've gone overboard and have like a map and a yeah, plan and you have to do it like this. You guys have gone overboard. Say we can do it ourselves. Create That's some space. Say, you gotta say we do space. it. We can do it ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. And create we, space. But we we're not following talking. your centralized plan. Okay. <laughs> Dude, we tried talking to people to have them move the tents and nothing got done. Okay. So guess what? That means you failed and you have to follow the people because this is a system of consent, not a system of a bureaucratic. Centralized committee telling everybody what to do. What did I just say? You have to do it on people's consent. That means if this one person doesn't want to move their tent, they didn't vote, they didn't say anything, they don't have to move their tent. Go to the meetings and tell them you want to vote. Because the consensus thing don't work anyway. You don't have to. The chances meeting. are is that more people. So now you're telling me go to the meetings. Yeah. Why are you telling me to do another thing? I'm going to stand right here and not go to the meetings. There's a huge section of people. There's a huge section of people. It's almost like private property. This is a joke. This is a joke. This is what Fox News is. This is what they want. It's not worth it. You can't deal with people. Yeah, it's worth it. You can't. No, no, you're right, sir. Absolutely. But it's not worth staying here. It's not worth it. But I have a right. Not here, where? Not here, where? We'll go somewhere. We'll go somewhere. Well, maybe we eventually will, but right now we got to try to make this thing work. We can't. How? How? How can you work with someone that says, Don't move my tent! Don't move my stuff, man! Don't come over here with your rules! How are you supposed to work with someone like that? It's a consensus thing, uh, agenda that's basically, I do believe, designed to keep control of something and letting it, instead of letting it expand. We need to broaden the focus, they want to keep the focus narrow. They've lost control of the grassroots down here, they don't want to do anything about it, they think that uh, the agenda that they're following says basically, it does say, each individual has the right to do whatever they want to. In a world 
It doesn't work that way. Some of us have to acquiesce to the others, especially those who uh, are in the way of people trying to make things better. Uh, all we're trying to do is rearrange this uh, encampment to basically fall on the lines of fire department codes. Okay, they've asked us to do something about it. If we don't do about it, they're going to clear us out. So I don't understand really what the big problem here is, except a few people think their rights is more important than uh, everybody else's. So the fire department has said if you don't, move these particular tents in these areas that give more room that they will shut you down exactly they, they, they believe that you know there has to be more room between tents there has to be avenues so lanes. public safety that's public safety and so the people that are fighting it or whatever agenda they might have they're being self-centered and selfish gotcha that's simple thank you yeah. Community. <laughs> Let's keep this within our community. Let's not let the media see. Let's just be civil right now. We'll talk about this in a minute. Keep it real. Keep it real. Ridiculous. Just being like, you know, just the maturity, you know. Simple maturity. Just the maturity. It's a, it's a public park. You're allowed here. Why aren't we allowed? It seems like the only, the only time we have cameras coming out is when there's controversy in our camp. No, we're just taking a picture. It's, yeah, it's, it's okay. You're, you can take all the pictures you want, but it seems like don't you want the, the whole story told? Media coverage or cameras come out is when there's controversy in our camp and we don't appreciate that we, type we of didn't, coverage. We didn't come out for controversy. This is a family. We live like a family here. There's, there's a teacher you guys never in a few minutes yes, here. Guys, guys, guys. Let them give you guys respect. Guys, oh, right. the media is part of the 99%. They're way too late as well. Yeah. 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 What? Yeah. Yeah. So cops aren't part of the 99%? No. People with cameras aren't part of the 99%? No. Yeah. 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 When you march with a cop and he's not beating you, then you'll know what a revolution is like. I am on TV legalizing marijuana. This is a cigarette, by the way. Uh huh. Not a joint. You want to smell it? It's a joint. No, it's not. And of course, we gotta get the drum circle in there. And prompt you drum circle. And we lay the fuck down, they will walk the fuck right over you. You have to have a lead. And we argue about fucking tip. Well, this is what happened. And I'm still poor. We still homeless. Me and him right here. We and him right here. We're fucking homeless. Did I realize that someone was attacking him? I'm homeless. 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 I'